Welcome Rangers to your online Royal Rangers lesson for this week. This week we will continue our Bible study in the book of Jonah with Pastor Jason. He'll be talking about bitterness in just a few moments. We also have Commander Chris here. He'll be continuing the lessons for your family life merit. Welcome Rangers to this week's online Rangers course. I'm Commander Chris and I just want to thank you for taking the time to go ahead and join us this week. Now before we begin this week's lesson, let's go ahead and do our Bible pledge. So if you can, go ahead and stand up, put your hands in front of you like this, as if you were holding your Bible. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its word in my heart that I might not sin against God. Before we begin also, I wanna go ahead and start going over the significance of the ranger emblem and the different points that that ranger emblem has. As you can see, the ranger emblem has four gold points, four red points, and eight blue points. And each one of those points holds some kind of significance. Today we're gonna to talk about the gold points, and those represent the four ways in which we grow in our daily life. Those points are spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical. And it's so important that we are growing in each one of those ways because we wanna be ready for God's calling on our life when he calls us. Hey Royal Ranger boys, this is Pastor Jason and we're in lesson two about Jonah and we're learning about bitterness. Now Jonah was very bitter that God sent him to Nineveh, people he didn't like, a place he didn't want to go. And so he got bitter, even more bitter when the Ninevites repented and God showed mercy on them. Now it's okay to be angry and you should let it out in a healthy way, but when you hold it in, that turns into bitterness and that's not normal. God doesn't want you to be a bitter person. What bitterness does, it takes away your joy it makes you frustrated, it makes you blame other people. So when you start to become bitter, God wants to take that away from you. So don't be like Jonah and become bitter. Let the peace of God flow through you, let joy flow through you, and talk to somebody. Talk to your Royal Ranger commander, Pastor Steve, Pastor Karina, and myself. Say, I, I have some bitterness, and I don't want to have bitterness. But let's remember to not hold on to bitterness and let it go. And that's our lesson for today. Hey, Ranger kids. Have you guys been working on your achievement? For the home helper achievement, you guys had four things that you needed to do, all right? You had to do three chores for four days. You had to have someone read to you, or you can read John 13, one through 17. The third thing is to write down three of the chores that you completed. And the fourth thing was to tell the group what you did to help around the house. And you're saying, how do I do that? Shoot a video, either post it on the Facebook page, send it to us through a direct message, or you can even email it to Pastor Karina or myself, Pastor Steve. All right? So those are three ways that you could get us that video and show us what you guys did um, to help around the house. So before we begin on this week's Ranger, Ranger lesson, I want to kind of recap last week's we started off the new family merit. And last week we talked about what a family was and how each and every member of the family really impacts each other. And then we talked about the significance of serving each other within the family. And so you guys were tasked with finding chores that you guys were supposed to be doing. I hope you guys have done that. If not, I'm sure your parents can go ahead and help you out with that. So this week's lesson, we're gonna be talking about rules and forgiveness and the important roles that they play in our lives. See, rules impact us every single day, everywhere we go. When you guys are at school, you guys have rules to follow. When I'm at work, I've got rules to follow. There's rules out everywhere, speeding rules, right? I mean, the Bible has the commandments and they're all rules that we are supposed to abide by. So why is it important to abide in the rules, to obey the rules? It's because they give us structure in our life. They give us boundaries. They give us a guideline of how we're supposed to go ahead and live our lives. So in, in, in regards to rules, I want you guys to go ahead and think about this in terms of your family. Why are rules important for your family? Think about that question and then write your answer down in section three of your worksheet. The next thing I wanna talk about is forgiveness and why forgiveness is important. See in the Bible in Luke 15, Jesus tells a story about the prodigal son. 
and I'm sure most of you guys, or probably all of you who have heard this story know it. It's about a wealthy father who had two sons, and one day the younger son went to the father and demanded his inheritance, and his father obliged and gave him his, his inheritance. And then that son went away and spent that money on everything he wanted to do and lived the life however he wanted to go ahead and live it. But then he found himself in a bad spot. He found himself living in the pig pen, wanting to eat the food that the pigs were eating. And he came to a conclusion that he was better off with his dad. He was better off with his family. So he swallowed his pride and he went back to his dad. But what the amazing thing was before he even got to his dad, his dad ran to him. He was waiting on the porch looking out for his son and he ran to him. He threw a robe over him, put a ring on his finger, threw a feast. He absolutely forgave him because he loved him. And it's a beautiful picture of just how God loves us and forgives us. And if forgiveness is in God, forgiveness needs to be something that we live our lives out with our family every single day. So think about these four questions in regards to forgiveness in your family. Why is it so hard to forgive? Why did the father forgive the son? Why didn't the older brother forgive? And why is forgiveness so important for our families? Take some time, think about those questions, and write your answers down in section four of your worksheet. Thanks for joining us, Rangers. Make sure you tune in next week for another lesson. Until then, we'll see you later.